<laughs> well, Ruth is here. Pretty festive down there, but uh, yeah. no one's told the weather, I don't think. Yeah, the weather certainly hasn't got the memo. And before you even ask, go on, ask, White Christmas. Yeah, go on, it's going to be a White Christmas. It's no. not looking like uh, it at the moment, <laughs> yeah. In fact, actually, quite frankly, it's just looking really rather miserable. It's wet and it is windy. And today's wet and windy conditions came courtesy of an area of low pressure. And guess what? There's another area of low pressure waiting in the wings. It's going to bring more rain through Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Although it should start to feel just a little bit warmer. I think you get the message. And actually, if it's not raining where you are at the moment, the chances are it soon will be because this is where the rain is placed. Over the last few hours, it's been working its way in our direction and effectively is covering much of the west of Wales at the moment. And just when you thought it couldn't possibly rain anymore, it's going to. So much so that we have a weather warning in force for much of South Wales in particular for tomorrow runs until six o'clock tomorrow evening. We could see up to 80 millimetres of rain falling over the Banner Brickaniog in particular, but it's going to be a very wet and windy day tomorrow wherever you are with possible surface spray, possible localised flooding and some disruption too. Here are the details. Not very seasonal at all. Let's see the look on your face just kind of says it all, I'm really, appalled. doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> so am I, and I can only apologise. We don't do this for fun, honestly. I'm surprised <laughs> there's any rain left up there, Ruth. <laughs> Well, the question is, where on earth do I start? Not pleasant out there at the moment by any means. Very heavy rain working its way northwards with very strong winds gusting 45 miles an hour in places, localised gales. I think the wind's peaking round about midnight and then into the second part of the night, the heaviest of that rain will start to ease back too with just showers pushing their way in. So it's not going to be a dry night, but it's not going to be a washout. And actually, in fact, by the time most of us wake to Thursday morning, it should be actually much milder, certainly milder than it was when the night started. The temperature just dipping under clear skies to start but then by tomorrow morning we're looking at values of around 10 possibly 11 in celsius so it's a mild airflow despite the fact the winds are on the brisk side low lying cloud misty murky conditions developing yet again particularly further inland away from the strongest of those winds so not a pleasant start to thursday by any means i think it's safe to say showers make way then for more heavy rain so really as the morning wears on conditions will go downhill and as i said the warning for the south in particular the banner brocanog where we could see up to 80 millimetres of rain falling, but heavy rain almost everywhere. So keep an eye out for flood warnings tomorrow because we'll certainly have surface spray on the roads. Localised flooding and disruption could well be an issue almost anywhere. And then the good news is the strong winds will blow that wet weather away quite quickly. So by the time we get to about three, four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it will be a vastly improved picture out towards the far west. So parts of Pembrokeshire could end the day with the odd sliver of blue sky and sunshine. And temperatures here topping out at 11 or 12 in Celsius. So a mild day, but thoroughly unpleasant with more of the same really as we head towards the end of the week. And unfortunately, into the start of the coming weekend too.